דוקטור יצחק דרימר, hello to you. Let's talk a bit as part of the new coming book about the quantum medicine as part of the ultimate medicine. In order to enable us to better understand the quantum medicine, share with me one story that you used this tool in order to overcome the obstacle of your patient. One story of success. There are many, and when I'm thinking about that, I'll give you one which is... This girl, she's six months old, in a hospital, in a ICU, and the, what's happening to her, she's losing oxygen, oxygen saturation in her blood, all the time, constantly it's going down, and they cannot find the cause. Now, I'm not involved in that story, but one of my friends, that that was his relative, um, called me and said, do me a personal favor. <clears throat> Go to the ICU in that, that hospital, treat that child, examiner, treat that child, please help us every day the saturation of the or the oxygen in blood goes down and she's declining fast. All the family is already sitting there as they're going to say goodbye to her. Wow. What can I say? I drive to my clinic down south, but I stop in that hospital. I said to him, I have one condition. I have no time, I'm really short on time. Tell the parents that when I come in, I have no time for explanations. I'm doing what I'm doing and I'm leaving. That's a condition for me to get there. So he called, he, he said, okay, he calls them, he calls back, he said, you got it. I get to the hospital, I see this beautiful little child, six months old, hooked to all kind of, uh, to, to, to oxygen, to monitors, <clears throat> and everybody's there very gloomy. I understand them. I examine the child very shortly, look what I think should be done make few contacts on her body. What do you mean by making few contacts okay. on her body? So quantum mind medicine, you see, we are, we are energetic informational beings. Our body is run by energy and information. Everything is energy information. Energy carries information and energy creates life within us. Mm -hmm. 27, 24, 7. You don't need to do anything. Your body is activated all the time with energy. Mm -hmm. But it needs information to do that. So we have all the content. We have the DNA to be activated to create everything, every action in our body, every tissue in our body, every cell, every organ. So you're interfering with this cosmic field of the, of the body of the child? So, the, so that's a very good point. So we are... Our brain is a receiver of the energy and the information. Receiver. Okay. Then the brain converts that energy to biological energy. Convert it. That biological energy runs you all the time. So when you have interference with the biological energy, you'll become sick. And as more interference you have, you'll become sicker and sicker. So that child had a major one, and they couldn't figure out what it is. So once I intervened and created a reset to her systems, again, she went back to life within two hours. She was released out of the hospital because the saturation came to 96 in about 20 minutes, and after two hours they released her. She became totally regular. What exactly did you do? You contact the body with in a certain areas with, with, uh, with a certain technique and you let go. That's it. You are resetting the nervous system. By touching physically? Only, only physically because you are a biological energy in your hands, in your body, and they are biological beings, energetic beings. You can interf intervene and actually charge them with their own informational energy. For example, 
If you have a car and its battery dies, what do you do? You go to another car, you hook it up to that battery, and you jump it. We do the same thing with people, just in a higher, much, much higher level. Cars don't have souls. We do. So you do it with much higher level, and you can activate them back to life. So this is the quantum medicine, this part of the ultimate medicine. And people that might see us might think, well, it's kind of a magic trick. It's like, a, a, is, is it something that everyone can learn or only doctors can learn? Okay, quantum mind medicine, everybody can learn, but they need to have a base. You see, everybody can take credit. Uh, uh, um, Part of the uh, we can take we can to, take, the, to, to do the typing yeah. on the computer. Yeah, you can take the, the computer, mm -hmm. and you can everybody can have um, the typewriter. Okay, mm -hmm. it depends who sits behind it to know how to write to activate that computer and to write the code. A, a certain code, certain codes over and over again. So you can take a hacker and it can do magic mm -hmm. all over the world, and you can take. Um, me, for example, I don't know. I only can send an email, so it's not good enough. But when I go to your body, your body is a it's a touch screen. So your skin communicates with your brain directly. Your skin is your biggest part of your body, biggest organ of your body. It communicates with the outside world, communicates with your inside world. If you go to the skin in a certain areas, and you know how to activate and change orders, actually, change information within that body, then miracles happen. But they're not really miracles. That's what our being as a being, as a human being, as an energetic, biological being, knows what to do. When you sit with me now, your brain knows how to run your heart. Do you need to intervene? No. No. It knows how to bring tears to your eyes whenever it's needed and spit to your mouth and your blood pressure. 100,000 times your heart pumps a day. If I had to give you a clock to sit and do that, you would die. So we have parts, most of our brain is running us on automatic. When we intervene correctly, it resets itself, reset itself to do it correctly, over and over and over again. How did the parents of the little child respond, reacted after you practically help the child to save her life. After that happened, they brought me all the other kids they had. The mother and the father became patients. The grandmother and the grandfather became patients. All the family, the extended family became my patients. And the nice thing that happened, 16 years later, me and that baby met in a wedding. Wow. And the mother introduced me to that. I never saw after that introduced me to her and said, that's the doctor that took you out of the hospital. She didn't want to say, say, she didn't want to say, say it's like your life, but take you out of that hospital. So I hugged her, I had tears, and she, she like, you know, all, all people, who are you? <laughs> and, and, but she, the mother introduced me, the father there, that was an incredible moment for me. Amazing. So people that want to meet you, not only in the, the weddings, but also <laughs> in the clinics, just to leave their message and the, the details over the social networks, or to make a phone call or video WhatsApp, and to be part of this community. Yes, one more word. Quantum mind medicine is like the cell phone 300 years ago. If, if we would bring that 300 years ago to people, they would think that we are magicians and witch, doing witchcraft. But because they don't understand that technology, our body is very sophisticated, sophisticated technology, human technology. And we are learning, and I learned a lot of how to activate it correctly with very little effort to create a lot of occurrences, information, growth, growth, health. So that's a new understanding. That's what's happening today in the health market. This 
device which is plasmatic, plasma, energy and information is taken from our body, not the other way around. People that understood how the body work built that. So now I'm doing that with people and with animals and with trees. You can do it with anybody. So this is very important to understand. The regular medicine is very important when you have emergency. That's regular medicine. But the new medicine will activate you to be healthy all the time to be in your potential all the time, energetic informational potential all the time. That's a very important message. So if somebody wants that already, to advance to the next level of his health, and not to stay on the old management of sickness, that's when you're doing the conversion to us. That's what we're doing. That's a new medicine. Dr. Tragoumo, thank you very much. Thank you.